Well, if you think of movies, specifically Rudy, The Blind Side, which I cried for, Invincible, there's a sport that headlines there, and it is American football. Not quite big here in South Africa, and there is something happening. It's brewing. It will be happening in August. But our very own Lloyd Kreef will be going over as scouts are looking, and we find out more about how this opportunity uh, came about. Lloyd Kreef, former pro rugby player, joins us in studio, as well as Munya Marrera. He is the CEO of Worldwide Scholarships. To the both of you, a warm welcome, and thank you so much for for taking your seat here in Thank the you arena. So much. Thanks. Good Thank to you have so you. Much. Lloyd, how did this partnership come about? You know, I went onto the Worldwide Scholarships website. Um, it's not only sport, it's arts, it's academics as well. You fill out the form, you know, you, you put the paperwork on there and you look for this opportunity. So the synergy between WWS and yourselves, where did that start? So about a, a week before uh, Worldwide Scholarships uh, first uh, scouting camp back in December. Uh, they reached out to me and asked me if I can come attend. And uh, that's, that's where I, need, I had to showcase uh, what I could do and that's where every st everything started. Mm. Is it only about log onto the website and reach out to us? But Minya, it, it <laughs> seems like you're a bit of a sniffer dog, <laughs> if I could put it that way, in terms of talent, looking for the yeah. talent in order to build that bridge between, let's say in this case, the USA and South Africa. Yeah, so um, again, thank you for, for, for having me on uh, with Lloyd. Um, it's a blessing and a pleasure to be able to share our vision and mission with the world. Um, we are sniffer dogs, <laughs> right? We, our, our main thing is looking for talent. So, you know, talent is everywhere. Um, and uh, for us, the most important thing is to also have a, a website which people can reach out to us. But most of the time we go around looking for who is talented. Uh, like I, I've just come back from Kenya where we opened up an East African branch of what we're doing. Oh, wow. And I found two boys who are seven feet tall, basketball players. No one in this side of the world is that tall. So that's where we will do our basketball mm. scouting. Um, so meeting up with Lloyd, Lloyd has got the biggest foot, you know, <laughs> in, in, in South Africa. Um, and I was doing my due diligence and they said, no, there's a young man called Lloyd who, you know, he has got the biggest boot. And luckily I know his coach very well. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I got to meet up with him, that's where the journey began and we were doing our camp, the WWS scout camp the next week. We said, hey, can you, if you can still kick or you, you're ready to do it, let's go. And uh, he came out and now the rest is history. Lloyd, let's go back though. I mean, 2014 IRB Junior World Champs, New Zealand, um, a high probably. Then there's injury. What happens to a professional athlete, especially mentally? Because do you say, okay, what is the next best choice for me? And then an opportunity like this comes by because did American football cross your mind? No, it, it didn't <laughs> at first. Uh, now that, that it sank in, I'm totally committed and I'm so excited for what's, uh, what's going on. But to, to get back to your question, uh, after the injury, especially something as severe as an ACL uh, tear, um, the big secret is not to, to, to sit back and, and wait for it to recover, but to to take the time, even the day after the operation, to go and say, listen, I'm going to get back as soon as possible. Mm. Getting your, your headspace right. And that's when, even though it's still going to take the nine months to recover, but your headspace will be right from day one. Correct. But yeah, NFL came across my path now and I'm I'm actually still <laughs> trying to Are you watching everything? all the movies or you've got to be watching <laughs> The Blind Side? I mean, I, I cried for that movie. I really did. But I mean, th they make the sport look glamorous. You know, it's the most watched sport. It's Americans' favorite mm. sport. And so as you're digesting, and I'm also just taking a look at how much you train. It's like six days a week. And are you finding that it's similar to your rugby training? It actually is in a way. Uh, it has its similarities. Uh, there is certain stuff like in American football where in rugby you don't run backwards, uh, but in American football they want you to be able to run ah. backwards. Not particularly in my position that I'm trying out yeah, for, yeah. but when in, in rugby we have to be able to run to the side mm. and forward. Um, and the pads, the helmets, that's all different for me, but definitely there is similarities in, in the two sports and 
I actually held an American football for the first time in December at the scouting <laughs> <Wow. ever. laughs> how did How did that feel? It's I mean, I, I'm strange. sure to caress it is yeah. very different. <laughs> yeah, even though it's, it's, it's an oval shape, uh, but it's a little bit more pointy. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit lighter, a little bit smaller. And um, it's just the, the dynamics is different, mm -hmm. but I'm, I can honestly say, well, once I get the sweet spot, that ball flies. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be amazing. As much as you're saying you are the sniffer dog, you know, you called the coach and that's where the talks have happened. Is your phone ringing off the hook? Because the 23rd of May is around the corner. Tell me about the hub combine and obviously having the general managers there in attendance. It's all eyes on, on Lloyd. Um, yeah. And is it sort of like done and dusted or is this the the ultimate is this the final test before you say actually usa will be your new home so it, it, the hub uh, combine if i can just give some history to it um was has been put together in order to re-sign uh professional players and players that may have gone off the radar maybe for a few months and then they're looking for a new job with another team mm -hmm. so what happens is that you have 27 of the 32 NFL teams will send their general managers there. So it's an, uh, this is a big, it's big, big stage. And it's by invitation only. You don't just sign up and go. Like, mm. it's by invitation only. And I think there's only going to be about 50, 50 did players. Did the invite come to your inbox? Yes. What did it say? It said, we want uh, your player to participate. Mm. And, and I said, OK, that sounds good. Uh, mm. We're definitely going to do this because I know, I mean, last, I think, two weeks ago, uh, they did one a month ago, it was, and immediately on the spot, the mm -hmm. general manager signed some of the players that were there. Oh, wow. So this is Lloyd's ultimate uh, audition, I call it. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. if, he, if he does what we know he can, and we're very confident in his abilities uh, and his big match uh, temperament, it's, it's a done deal and America will be his, his new mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the position, your specific position, because Googling as well, place kickers, I found one other South African and they're contesting that he needs to be in the Hall of Fame and that is Gary Allen Anderson. So, you know, he's from Paris. I think you're from Fundabale Park. <laughs> <laughs> There's some, some similarity, both South Africans. But tell me more about this position. So there's three different types of kicks in the NFL. So you get a, a kickoff specialist, which does the kickoffs, and then a punter, which comes uh, on the fourth down, and he needs to get uh, the team out of the, the danger zone. And then there's the field goal, where you can uh, get the, the three points after a, a touchdown. Hmm. And I'm able to do all three of them, but as I've uh, been told in the NFL, they do specialized kickers. So mm. we're going to see which one they want me to do or am I going to do all three of those things? Because wow. they, they have the, I think, the bank account to sign the three different kickers at a time mm. where I'm able to do all three of them. But I, I don't think I have something that's standing out more than the other one where my punt, my punts is flying and my field goals I can I can slot consistently, so I'm, I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the training that I put in is, is, really, is really coming to a point where I'm very happy with, with. So you're not only going, but I think you will be breaking barriers, boundaries as well as you do that. Lloyd, please keep us up to date uh, as to everything, how it goes. Munya, I'm holding you to that as well. We'd yeah. love to know how you do on the for 23rd sure. of May. And to the both of you, thank you very much for coming through thank to the thank Sports you. Arena. Thank you so much. More than welcome. Well, I'm excited. I'm looking forward. 23rd of May, fingers crossed. And we'll do our best to update you as to how Lloyd Khrief does out in California, out in the USA. I'm jealous. I want to go. And I know, Owen, you want to go too, right?